Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I, uh, I'm filming this portion out of order because I actually already did all the testing and then took it all apart because I got very excited. So I figured I'd run through what it is I'm actually building, why I'm building it, and then the issues that came with version one. So I am building a electric ducted fan for an RC airplane powered by the inlet turbine from a Audi A4 turbocharger. Um, this turbine is being spun by this RC uh, electric ducted fan motor that I actually took apart. This was about $35 on AliExpress. It uses a shaft coupler to go to the original shaft of the turbocharger turbine that I cut off, which you can see here, the coupler, the turbine, and then the actual, uh, I'm sorry, the coupler, the shaft, and then the actual turbine up there. The air comes in, it gets gathered, comes around the outside, blows up against the motor to help keep the motor cool and then comes out this nozzle and so right now all i'm doing is just testing to see if this is actually even possible i don't know if it'll create enough thrust to power an rc airplane the whole assembly as it stands weighs about a half kilo and it only produced about a quarter kilo of thrust so 250 grams of thrust maximum and that's when I was actually covering the exhaust with my hand to give it some back pressure. Oopsies. Um, but that means that I have some tuning to do if I want to give it the best shot it's got. So originally I started with this very wide exhaust cone. You can see one of the first things I'm doing for tuning is trying out a couple of different sized exhaust tips to see if I can build up some more back pressure. I also noticed with this one that the air was swirling a lot as it came out, which is why I've added some stators, some directional fins to help keep the air in a straight path. Um, and then the biggest issue with version one was that the bearing I was using up in the top here uh, did not originally fit around this shaft and so I had to dremel it out a little bit, which is just not something you want to do with the bearing. So one of the best changes that I've made for version two is adding a new larger bearing and then a shaft reducer, which is hard to see. Uh, but this has just no play in it. I'm really happy with how this is turning out. I really think this is gonna work. But anyways, Enjoy the rest of the video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think it's gonna fly. I have medium hopes. If I'm able to get the thrust up high enough with some tuning, it might be able to, but it's definitely not going to be efficient. But that's okay, it's just for fun. Thruster assembly alone weighs just about 460 grams. Um, um, and that's not including the battery or any airframe. And so uh, apparently an RC 
airplane usually needs about a 80 to 100% thrust to weight ratio. And so I'm hoping for about 500 grams of thrust, but that's if I'm using the uh, standard PLA plus. If I were to reprint this in lightweight PLA, I would get a 65% weight savings, which would bring the whole assembly down to 288 grams, roughly. So somewhere between 288 and 500 grams of thrust is ideally what I'm looking for. And this is actually the first time I'll be turning it on, so I'm a little bit nervous. Tear it. Make sure this is set all the way low. Ooh. I do not know what that is. Huh, okay. Oh! Ooh! That's scary! Oh, it's got some vibration. Ooh! Oh, I don't know what that was. Oh. Okay, something has happened that is not good. I'm going to turn it off and see if I can figure out what. Oh. <laughs> the uh the nut that holds the rotor impeller on came off. Ooh, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to review the video to see what the highest thrust was, but I definitely saw it somewhere. Oh, and looks like it even picked up some weight um, just from the wires dangling. But I definitely saw it somewhere in the like 150 grams and that was nowhere near full throttle, but this thing is kind of terrifying. It definitely puts, puts out some thrust. All right, I re-soldered a uh, connection here and I put Loctite on that nut um, and I tightened it down a little bit more. So it should be all ready to go for round two and hopefully it won't fall apart this time. But again, 450 grams. I'm hoping for somewhere in the range of like 280 to 500 would be really nice, but we'll just kind of see what we get. Um, Reconnect this. You might be worried about the uh, colors not matching. Don't worry about that. That doesn't really matter. Okay. So make sure it's turned off all the way. Okay. Are you going to turn it? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. All right. You know, I'm actually also going to tape it down so it doesn't move. I'll be right back. All right. I got double-sized sticky taped down, and I added some yarn so that we can actually see what's happening or see the airflow so okay i'm still nervous there's definitely quite a bit of vibration tear it Okay, that was scary.
scary. It, there, there's some vibration, for sure. <laughs> Something doesn't sound right. I think I saw 132 grams and something sounds loose in there. So I'm gonna flip it over and see what's going on. And turn it off first, cause that was scary. Oh, come on. Oh, the sticky tape is too good. There we go. Okay, it feels good. It feels quite sturdy in there. Let's see. I kind of want to see it spin, but I'm not gonna hold it. That sounds dumb. So from here, in order to get to produce more thrust, uh, one, I should really balance it, and two, I'm gonna play around with different diameter uh, nose cones or actually tail cones on it and see like if I close this up, will it produce more pressure and therefore more thrust or will it just choke it out? So I'll eventually be playing with a bunch of different diameter end cones. But before I finish up this video, I just wanna see it go one more time. Something sounds super radly in there. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. That's good for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See you next time. some vibration for sure.